ShareX and Greenshot are the best screenshot applications for Windows. So what should you choose? Well, that's what I'll help you decide. First off, both programs are completely free for Windows. Both are lightweight and can be configured to run at startup. So you can always use them as your main screenshot application. Let's check out ShareX first. ShareX is an app that you can use not only capture screenshots, but record video and animated GIFs. It also supports uploading to a ton of online services such as Imgur, Dropbox, Google Drive, and so many others. ShareX also includes many built-in tools such as an image editor, viewer, thumbnailer, video converter, and more. With each program, you can configure hotkeys for quickly taking screenshots. In Windows 11, you will want to disable the default print screen app. Here's how I have my keys set up in ShareX. I usually take screenshots of specific areas of my screen, so I have the print screen key set to let me select an area when I press that key. I have Alt Print Screen set to capture the entire screen, Control Print Screen to take a screenshot of the current active window, and so on. These key combinations are also called workflows, and you can create custom workflows to do different tasks in ShareX. For example, I've created two custom workflows, Control T to create image thumbnails from video, which ShareX can do, and Control U to upload an image to an online service. To take screenshots, you can use the capture menu from the main window or use the hotkey. In my case, I can simply press the print screen key, select a region, and done. I have the program set to save images to my desktop. If I want to take a screenshot of the active window, I can press Ctrl print screen. And if I want to capture the entire desktop, Alt print screen. ShareX lets you choose what happens after you take a screenshot. You can have the file path copied to the clipboard, open in the image editor, upload online, or all of the above. You can configure capture settings and the after capture settings from the main menu. Under task settings image, you can customize the file output. One cool feature of ShareX is the ability to record animated GIFs. Use the capture GIF option from the capture window or use the hotkey. I'll press shift print screen, select an area to record, and record the GIF. This is an incredibly easy way to make GIFs from a desktop. ShareX also has the ability to record video. Again, you can use the capture menu or press a hotkey. And just like with GIFs, I'll select an area to record and done. In task settings, screen record options, you can configure the output of recordings. For example, I record ATVC video with Opus Audio. ShareX and Greenshot lets you upload images straight to an online service. In the case of ShareX, it supports a ton of services out of the box. You can even configure it to upload files to storage services such as Amazon S3 and Backblaze. Here I have ShareX configured to upload images to an Amazon S3 bucket, effectively creating my own image host. For services like Amazon S3, you can also configure a custom domain. I'll go ahead and enable uploading to Amazon S3 and destination settings. Check Upload to Image Host under Capture Settings, and under After Capture Settings, copy the URL and open the file. Take a screenshot, and just like that, the image was saved to the computer, uploaded to Amazon S3, and the URL opens in the browser. ShareX has a feature called Actions. This allows you to utilize the power of FFmpeg and other file converters to do some post-processing after capturing an image or video. Looking at the dock, you can see it's possible to convert output to all kinds of formats, along with setting the quality and compression options for certain formats. In task settings, actions, I have an action to convert output to WebP. I'll enable this. And now when I take a screenshot, ShareX will automatically convert the output to WebP. If you know how to use command line based converters such as FFmpeg, this is an incredibly powerful feature. ShareX has a whole suite of tools built into it. It's got an image viewer, an image editor that lets you make image adjustments and apply filters, a color picking tool, a video image thumbnailer, a video converter, and a ton of other tools. Greenshot is a much simpler program. It doesn't have nearly as many features as ShareX, but it's still more configurable than the default screenshot app in Windows. You can configure hotkeys for capturing a region of the screen, an active window, the entire screen, or the last region. My hotkeys are the same as with ShareX. Then all I do is press print screen to capture a screenshot. It saves to my desktop as always. Now an active window. And now I'll take a screenshot of the entire screen. You can configure the output format and name preferences. 
So GreenShot can upload images to a handful of services such as Imgur, Dropbox, and others, but not nearly as many services as ShareX. But here's the thing. GreenShot lets you create custom commands to handle output. I've created an upload to Amazon S3 command that runs our clone to send the file to my Amazon S3 bucket. You can use any program to handle the output and theoretically upload to any service. I like to upload to Amazon, take a screenshot, and if I check my Amazon S3 bucket, I can see the file was uploaded successfully. So in the battle between ShareX versus ScreenShot, which should you choose? Well, it depends. ShareX is great if you want to record video and animated GIFs in addition to taking screenshots. It's also great if you want an app that has lots of features and the ability to edit or convert output without needing additional tools. Even though ShareX has a ton of features, it's still lightweight and doesn't feel like a bloated, heavy program. The only thing I don't like about ShareX is that it has too many menus separated. I hate when programs do this. Half the time, I can't remember if a setting is in task settings, destination settings, or application settings. These menus need to be combined and well categorized. Screenshot is perfect for people who want a configurable screenshot app, but don't need all the extra stuff in ShareX. I do wish ScreenShot could record GIFs like ShareX, then I'd be using that instead. If you like my content, consider becoming a YouTube member, get early access to new content, or consider becoming a Patreon member and get access to exclusive content too hot for YouTube.